What is up, fam? Happy Friday. I hope this message finds you all well in a good spirits. Well, I'm sitting here in rush hour traffic. And um, for those people who said, why are you getting an automatic? Uh, this is this is why. <laughs> this is what I... This way. I'm not going that way. I'm going this way. But this is what I have to go through on a daily basis. And yes, I'm driving stick right now, but I'm tired of it. I'm also wearing a Hawaiian shirt today because it's a celebration because just rea realizing still that the 2018 Mustang is being ordered and I'm excited. The custom spec has been sent to Ford. Um, now that I'm trying to like, I'm halfway in the light, halfway not. What I want to talk about is sponsorships. And one of the things that is really important to uh, having a custom build aftermarket build is that we all know that car parts are really 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 expensive right you can spend upwards of 5,000 plus when you talk about exhaust you talk about colder intake you talk about rims you talk about suspension work tuning uh, you know body parts like hoods and wings and scoops and the whole nine it's expensive to mod your car right the question is what about the 2018 Mustang and what sponsors or sponsorships am I looking at to either explore or pursue for the 2018 Mustang? And the most expensive things that you can look for to either get sponsored or sponsorships with are definitely like these three are what I look for. Uh, rims. Like rims and tires are always a nice sponsorship to get because rims can get pricey. Um, upwards of a couple thousand dollars. Um, you know, we're in a tunnel so I guess we'll do this. All right, a little EcoBoost action for you. Good sponsorship to pursue is suspension work. A lot of people are really either 100% about stuff like um, airlift or um, working with companies like Steeder and getting suspension um, things for stance, for racing, for looks, um, things of that nature. So you want to look at those things. And then also you want to look at like body body kits and body part companies. Um, one of the companies that I uh, think about is you think about companies like um, CDC or Cervini's, and you want to reach out these companies if you if you want to participate in that and get and get sponsorships. Now, how do you get a sponsorship? Is another question. Um, to get a sponsorship, you got to be prepared to, to to put in your own money first and foremost. You gotta be prepared to drop upwards of, of, of more than just a couple grand into your build. You got to have a social media presence and also be accessible to go to uh, different car shows, different events, uh, meets, even be part of clubs. But you basically wanna show the company who's gonna give you a break or a sponsorship that, hey, we're gonna not only see our the car with our parts on it out and about, but it's also like an advertising thing. So it's a win-win and what do you get? Obviously you get a cool car part and you get to really kind of advertise your build and the company that's sponsoring you and, and go from there. So what are the three companies that I actually reached out to by the 2018 Mustang is what I'm gonna share with you today. The 2018 Mustang came out and people were really, like really, really hating on it, right? The 2018 Mustang is, is so horribly ugly and uh, it looks like it has Down syndrome, you know, the whole nine. So people were waiting on companies like Roush to come out with a a front spoiler or a front fascia that really remedied all that hideousness that was the front fascia of the, the 2018 Mustang. Also, people looking at companies like Cervini's who makes hoods and body kits for the S550. I reached out to Cervini's and I said, listen, Cervini's, uh, this is the deal. I just ordered 2018 Mustang and a lot of things are, are things about the hood that are hit or miss that I'd rather have a different way. Keep me posted if you would like to either keep me to know about new products you have or even a possible sponsorship for the hood. Cervini's is going to hopefully respond to me with some kind of idea about maybe possibly getting a, 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 some kind of body kit action for the 2018 because the 2018 is all new from the A-pillar forward. So it would be a whole new hood that they would have to fabricate and make. So hopefully we can communicate communication with them and 
It's not get a full sponsorship, but it's a part of sponsorship to get a break on the hood. Next is, I reached out to the suspension companies. As you know, I didn't get a performance pack. So those, those suspension bits, I wanna try to get on my own aftermarket. And I like Steeda. Uh, I think I trust their stuff and I'm gonna try to speak with work with them to see if they can hook me up with some stuff for the 2018 What else do I like? I also am a fan of the uh, Airlift performance I do see a lot of benefits of possibly getting a uh, Sponsorship with airlift performance. So I reached out to them as well And I'm also gonna reach out to a few uh, wheel companies like axe wheels Another thing if you want to really create a relationship go to car shows go to car meets talk to the reps Explain to them what your plans are, what your ideas are, and you can make connections. It's really important to establish relationships because they help you later down the road. Am I going to be sponsored by all these people? No way. But am I reaching out to just do my due diligence? Of course. I'm reaching out to Steeda for uh, things like suspension work, airlift, or even the drop in the Mustang, and then new rims. Now, people probably say, why are you getting the Mustang if you don't like the way it looks? I love the way it looks. I'm just trying to improve it and be unique. And if that can happen with suspension work and a little bit of small body part changes like a hood or a front fascia, then so be it. But I'll keep you posted uh, what they say, how they respond, and what happens going forward. Once again, as you can see, I'm sitting in beautiful rush hour traffic, driving my six speed, and uh, is one of the reasons why I'm getting my 10 speed auto in the next two, three months here because I'd rather not do that. All right, y'all, it never ends. Peace. Climate, set temperature 72 degrees. Did you say 72 degrees? Yes. Setting temperature to 72 degrees.